he talks about you know every every night they play like I don't know eight to ten NBA games and nobody talks about shutting them down. Uh, is the NBA underreacting? We would recommend that there not be large crowds. If that means not having any people in the audience when the NBA right. plays, so be it. But as a public health official, anything that has large crowds is something that would uh, give yeah. a risk to spread. Uh. We would recommend that there not be large crowds. Anything that has large crowds is something that would give a risk to spread. Fauci says, if that means not having any people in the audience when the NBA plays, so be it. We sort of knew we were heading here, but now there it is. Senior NIH official saying there shouldn't be large crowds in the United States anymore. We as a country should no longer have events with large crowds, including professional sporting events. I should tell you, just as we got on the air tonight, the Oklahoma Thunder was due to be hosting the Utah Jazz. They had uh, issued a 30-minute delay for the start of that game, and then ultimately they postponed that game tonight. So. That NBA game is off. That's just happening moments ago. Um, soon after Dr. Fauci's comments today about basketball and large crowds in Congress, uh, the NCAA, uh, the NCAA announced that this year's March Madness NCAA basketball tournaments, both the men's games and the women's games, will be played without audiences there to watch those games. And it, you know, it's not just this Oklahoma Thunder Utah Jazz game getting postponed tonight. It looks like other NBA franchises are now tipping over into caution on these matters. Today, the mayor of San Francisco instituted a ban on gatherings of more than 1,000 people, making clear that that explicitly includes Golden State Warriors games. Golden State Warriors will tomorrow play against the Brooklyn Nets, and that game is scheduled to go on, but there will be nobody in the audience. Just south of San Francisco, Santa Clara County, they're banning all gatherings of 1,000 people as of midnight last night. That will include San Jose Sharks hockey games among many other things. You're going to see closing down of venues, schools, large gatherings, because you don't have an option. You're never going to bring the testing up to capacity yeah. in time. Yeah. We're going to try, we're going to scramble, but it's not going to happen. Andrew, here's you're what I'm hearing right now, see, just so you down. know. To your own point, you're making a point that is actually playing out in real time. The NBA just announced it's going to suspend the season following tonight's games. Um, now, that is going to be a life-changing situation for people on an entertainment level, I know. But they're not ready for this. NCAA games having no audience, that was enough. How should they understand a move like this to, what does this mean about where they're going? And now, look, not to add on the pile of problems, but you have a huge holiday coming up in New York, the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Um, it's, it's great for enthusiasm and emotion and community. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, well, for example, uh, you're right. Now, I, am, I have the issue of the St. Patrick's Day Parade, right? Uh, and uh, I recommend it to the uh, organizers that uh, we have to postpone it. It's 2 million spectators, 150,000 marchers. You can't do that in this environment. Uh, but How they that's take it. going to play out, uh, well, uh, not well, I can tell you that much. <laughs> the, uh, but, you know, that's why I get paid the big bucks, right? We're just getting details on this huge breaking news from the sports world. The NBA is going to suspend all games until further notice. Now, look, I know the scariest part of that, or is the most confusing, the most frustrating, is until further notice. What does that mean? We don't know. So we're going to be back with that and what we know next.